Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com, Manage Hosting. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up WordPress for unlimited domains here with our, our basic hosting. So it's very simple, but this is useful for those of you that have more than one website. Um, you know, if you're going to be setting up sites for clients or maybe you just have one, one, more than one brand, um, it's very beneficial to have web hosting that allows you to have multiple websites on it. And here at NameHero we specialize in that. Okay, so right now I'm on the main page of our, our website here. So what you would do is you go down to here to web hosting and you would click get started. Now when the page comes up you have two options. First is US data center or, or Europe data center. So basically you want to decide which data center is closest to where the majority of your traffic is coming from. So if you're in the United States, if you're a local business in the United States and most of the people visiting your website are going to be in, in the US or in, in Mexico or Canada, um, then you want to choose the US data center. Now if you're an international business or an international website and, and you're going to have visitors from overseas, then you want to choose the Europe data center. And that, that improves latency and makes sure that the visitors are able to load your site very quickly. Um, for my example, I'm going to use the U.S. data center, but um, definitely select which one. It's the same price, um, but it definitely benefits you as far as the speed. Next, you have three different plans to choose from. Now, the starter package, that's for just one website. So that's going to host one WordPress blog, um, one domain. Um, so that's not what we're going to demonstrate. We're going to demonstrate the plus because the plus allows you to have unlimited domains hosted as long as you stay within this 20 gigabytes. So it's very beneficial. Now, if you need more space, 20 gigabytes is going to be most for the majority of websites out there. But if you if you're a business and you have a if you're selling stuff, you're an e-commerce site, then you might want to go up here to our 80 gigabyte plan, which is our business package. But for this example, I'm going to go through the plus. Okay, so our best price is $5.95 a month. Um, so that's what I, I suggest doing, and that also comes with a free domain name. So if you if you want to register a domain for free, um, it's kind of an added bonus there. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that. Now for this example, I've actually I already have my domains registered in this account, so I'm just going to click that I already have them, and I'm going to enter them in. So for this example, I'm going to use NameHero.org. So I'm going to click use. Okay, so now it just confirms that we're going to do the Basic Plus website, web hosting package that lets us host unlimited websites. So, and we can see it does include a free domain if we want to use that. If we don't want to use that right now, we don't have to. We can use that at a later time. Okay, so you can see that the promotion code is applied. There's a discount um, currently active on NameHero.com. On using the, and if you're watching this video, you can use the link below to get the promo. Um, and it's a $140, $145 discount, so it's a really good deal. So um, I'm going to go ahead and complete my payment, and then I'll continue the video. Okay, so after you complete your payment, you're, you're showing the order confirmation screen here, and you can see our order number is this, and we can just click continue to the client area. Okay, so now I've got my hosting plan, and I've got my domains, and, and like I said earlier, I've already registered my names, um, so the hosting is where I'm going to go to next, okay? Okay, so this is where my control panel is going to be for my web hosting. And you can see I've got all this information. The first thing we need to do is we need to make sure the domains have the correct name servers. So you can see under here the name servers should be ns3.namehero.net and ns4.namehero.net. This is going to differ from if you select the Europe data center or the US data center. So you want to make sure you check this. You want to make sure you check these. And you want to click on over domains and click my domains. And you just want to make sure all the domains that you want to host with this have the correct name servers. So we're going to start with NameHero.org. And we're going to click on Name Servers. And you can see those are set correctly. So we just want to make sure that those are set um, to NS3 and NS4 that mas match our hosting package. We're going to go back to My Domains. And we're going to take a look at ResellHero.com because that's the other domain we're going to demonstrate. Okay, we're going to click Name Servers. And as you can see, it matches there. So if not, we'd want to change those um, to make sure that it's, it's equal to our hosting package that we've purchased. Okay, so we're going to go back to hosting. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install WordPress on NameHero.org. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on cPanel right here to the right. And we're going to be brought into the cPanel control panel. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. We're going to click on WordPress. Okay, from here, we're going to click Install. All right, so we're going to select the protocol. 
I like to do www. That's personal preference. You can do whichever one you want. But if you're going to do HTTPS, you have to purchase a secure certificate. So if you want to do that, let us know and we'll help you set that up. But the majority of you are not going to do that for your WordPress install. Um, so just select um, either with the www or without. It does not make a difference. It's just whichever way, way you want or you prefer. Now, the next is the directory you want to install it on. I want to install WordPress in my main directory. So when I go to namehero.org, I see WordPress. I don't have to go to a subfolder, so I'm just going to delete that. Okay, next, you could enter the name of your site. I'm just going to leave it default, and you could enter the description. We're going to go ahead and set a, a username and password. Um, I'm going to change that. I don't like to use admin because it's not secure. Um, I'm going to generate a strong password. We've got our admin email address here. Um, I'm going to use an email address, a different email address. I'm going to use our contact one here. Okay, we're going to select the language, which is English. And we can do some additional plugins here, but I'm not. Um, there's some advanced options if you want to do that, um, but we're not going to for this example. And we're going to use the default theme. So I'm just going to click Install. And it's very quick. It doesn't take long at all and bam. You can see WordPress has now been installed on namehero.org. So now we can click on that and as you can see WordPress is, is ready to go here at namehero.org and you can see the admin panel is all set up as well. Now for the purpose of this video I'm going to show you how to set it up on another domain. Okay so we're going to go we're going to go back to our control panel and we're going to click on add on domains. It's right here in the quick shortcuts. Okay so this is going to bring up our cPanel, and it's going to say new domain name. So as I said earlier, Resell Hero is the other domain we're going to use. We're just going to leave this default. Document root, this is where the files are going to live. It fills, it populates for you, so you don't have to worry about any of that. We click add domain. And it just takes a second to add to the server and provision it really quickly for you. And this is just a, a great way to have all your sites in one place so you can get up and going. You don't, it doesn't take a lot to have hosting for multiple sites anymore. Okay, so you can see it's been created. So now we can go back and we can verify that resellhero.com is set up. Okay, so we're going to go back to cPanel and we're going to scroll down here to WordPress. And you can see here's our installation we just did at the beginning of the video for namehero.org. Now, if we want to install it for Resale Hero, our second domain, we're going to click Install. Once again, we're going to choose our protocol. We're going to use www. Next, we're going to change the domain because Resale Hero is the other domain that we want to use. So we're going to click there. Now, if we want it in the main folder, we're going to delete that. So when we go to resalehero.com, we have WordPress. We don't have a subdirectory. Now, we could change the site name here. We could change the description. I'm going to leave them default. I want to do a, a username and password to log into the admin area. So again, I like to always change that from admin because admin's not secure. And we also want to use the password generator to make sure we have a nice secure password. Once again, I like to put um, my email address I'm using. You want to do that as well so you can recover your password. Now, of course, you can choose your theme. If you want to use one of our pre-installed themes, which we have hundreds in here um, to choose from, you can do that here. Um, just for example, just say you wanted to use this one, you can click Select and click Install. And it's the same process we just went through. Um, WordPress, it doesn't take, but not even a minute. It says three to four minutes, but it doesn't even take a minute. And you can see now we have WordPress installed on Resale Hero. So we can click it, and you can see the, the design that we selected is all set up. And it's really that easy. You know, we, we just set up two domains with hosting. We installed WordPress on two domains, and we're not even 10 minutes into this video. And so you can see the admin area for WordPress for Resale Hero is now here. So it's really as simple as that to set up hosting for multiple domains with multiple WordPress installations. And the cool thing is, is you can go over here to your install page. Let's go back to it here. WordPress. And then you can see all your installations right here. It shows you when it was installed. It shows you what version it's currently on. And you can clone the site. You can back up the site. You can edit your details, and you can actually delete the installation if you need to do that. So everything's right here in this nice control panel. It lets you know, you know how much space is required, how much space you have available. It lets you know all this cool stuff, and it's got um, you know the link to WordPress.org if you need additional support. But that's how you host unlimited WordPress sites here on NameHero.com. Very quick, very painless. If you have any trouble, feel free to comment below this um, video or submit a ticket, and our team, we can do all this for you as well. So thanks a bunch for watching, and we hope you enjoyed
enjoy our WordPress hosting.